Hi everybody, I'm Gabrielle, founder of Strand Pilates. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna to do a quick workout for the back. So I am seven months pregnant, so I obviously can't be lying down on my belly. Um, so we're gonna do all sorts of different exercises that uh, don't require you to lie down on your belly. So it's just um, good variations of exercises that you can do if you don't wanna use the box. We're actually gonna use no props today. We're just, just the reformer, and I'm on one blue spring, which is a medium spring. Let's start on our knees, facing the straps, and then have a little bit of space between your knees and the shoulder blocks. Depending on the uh, length of your carriage, you can always readjust, but I like to have my toes slightly hanging off. Carefully grab the short straps off the shoulder blocks, Knees are slightly parted, just about hips distance apart. Now before we push back, go ahead and pull your tail gently to the floor to lengthen the lower back and scoop your belly up and in. From here, roll your shoulder blades back and together. You wanna squeeze them as you pull them down, but think of pulling your triceps apart from one another. So one to the in opposite directions. As you do that, keep squeezing your shoulder blades navel scoops up and in press back and hold so while you're holding here the weight is not too heavy try not to let those shoulders pull forwards keep pulling them back and grow your tallest so by tall i don't mean like lifting the chin up trying to reach a really good height actually tilt the chin down nodding the chin slightly to lengthen through the back of the head the back of the neck and then slowly bring the arms back to the hips. So we press back and hold. Grow your tallest. Think about those oppositional poles. I've been talking about that on Instagram lately. Meaning we're pushing the knees into the carriage as we're lengthening the spine up. So pulling in two opposite directions. What's that, what that is doing is creating a little more control and stability in the body. It's helping me engage my core more. It's giving me more purpose to the core. And we're finding the beautiful lengthening aspect of Pilates. So obviously little micro adjustments that you can do. Obviously I do them as well, remembering to part the collarbones, to squeeze the shoulder blades and not to collapse. Let's do two more. Good, I like nice long holds for chest suspension. Last one. And bring the arms to the front. Go ahead and grab onto your knots. Okay, going to your Z shape. So elbows bent, butt pulls back, hinge forwards. The back stays flat. Think of really not rounding the up or the back and not overarching either. So tail gently pulls down just to find this lengthening aspect. Roll the shoulder blades back and together. Squeeze. So think of your elbows like little chicken wings. You want to pull together by your side. Make sure you're not looking up too high or too low. Repress out and hold. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and down. Lengthen the back of your neck. Bend the elbows back in. So here, your oppositional pull, as you extend the arms out, you're reaching those knuckles and those arms as far away as you can as the spine and the crown of the head are reaching in opposite direction. And again. Exhale to press back. Let's go for about five more. Two. Last one here. The holds make all the difference and then bend the elbows and come on up. So we're gonna do a little combo here. From here, roll the shoulders back in their pockets, engage your core, pull your tail to the floor. We're gonna pull the arms to the hips. From here, when you bend the elbows, you're gonna go into your Z shape right away. So bend the elbows, hinge back, pause. One tricep press and hold. Keep the arms straight, slowly come back up. Once your arms are by your hips, you're nice and vertical. Bring the arms back to the front. And again, pull back. Bend the elbows, go into your Z shape. Extend your arms back, think oppositional pull. 
Keep the arms straight, come on up. Extend the arms forwards. Pull back to the hips. Bend the elbows, hinge into your Z shape. Press back, hold. Keep squeezing your shoulder blades together and down. Engage your glutes to come up. Slowly bring the arms back to the front. Let's keep going, you guys. Yes, these are pretty challenging. I definitely feel them. That's seven months pregnant here. I'm also filming this in Atlanta and it's really quite hot. <laughs> and up. Let's do three more. How tall can you get in each of these moves? And two. Thinking good posture here. Last one here. And come on up. Good job, you guys. Hook your straps up for now. Knees against the shoulder blocks. Go ahead and place your hands on the frames of the carriage. Okay, so we're gonna start knees underneath the hips and bring your hands further out. We're gonna focus on a little bit more lat here. Good, so now if your shoulders are up to your ears like mine are right now, pull them back and think of widening your shoulder blades. From here, scoop your belly and keep your knees underneath the hips as you pull the carriage forwards. Hold, make sure the back of the neck is long your abs are pulled in, and then slowly bring the carriage back home. And again, exhale forward, inhale back. Imagine there is a tray on your back, and it's, that tray is filled with delicious goodies and cocktails and pregnancy-free, pregnancy-friendly cocktails, and you don't want them to spill. So. Really look for control in the move. Back staying super flat. Always checking in with those shoulders, making sure they're not pulling up to the ears. Let's go for five more. And really visualizing your lats helps here. Those big muscles inside of your back, use them to pull forwards. Oftentimes just the simplest thing of just visualizing those muscles or just Bring your mind's eye to that spot really helps to activate the correct muscles. Two more. Last one here. And bring it back home. All right, come back up slowly onto your knees. Grab the straps off the shoulder blocks. Again, let's walk back a little bit if you have room and just the toes kind of hanging off. Cross your straps two fingers inside the little triangles below or above the knots there. Arms out in front. This is our bow and arrow. Roll the shoulders back and down. Scoop your abs in and up, pull your tail to the floor. So already we have a nice strong base. Left arm stays straight. Bend the right elbow, rotate to the right and hold. So your oppositional pull here, we're pulling that right elbow back and we're reaching the left arm forwards. Grow taller. Slowly come back to center. Other side. Pause. Grow tall. Pull the left elbow back. Pull the right arm forwards. Look back and to the front. Make sure your hips stay square to the front. So here, to rotating to the right, push your right hip forwards if you notice that it pulled back with you. And center. So we're trying to activate the muscles around the bra line there for the ladies, around the shoulder blades to pull back. Try not to lean back. A lot of balance work here. One more on each side. Again, yes, I love the holds. When I hold, it really reminds me to Connect with all those deeper connections for Pilates. Shoulders stay pulled down and come back to center. Uncross the straps, hook them back up. Okay, hands on the shoulder blocks, walk your knees back so you're a little less crunch, a little more comfortable. Shoulders pulling down your back. Navel to spine, engage the core. We're gonna tilt from the bra line for the ladies, or like mid-back. 
tilt the chest up. Good. So notice I didn't overarch from my lower back, just from the bra line. So think of a little red dot on your breastbone right here that you want to slowly lift up and shine forwards. So we're here, scoop your belly, tilt the chest up and hold. Now think of pulling almost like you want to pull the shoulder blocks towards your knees with your hands. So there's a tracking sensation here. Holding it here, feeling your muscles there along your spine, your mid upper spine working, and then round your upper back. And again, start neutral, shoulders pull back, scoop your belly in, pull the breastbone forward, try to pull the shoulder blades, the shoulder blocks back towards your knees. Keep engaging your core and release around the back. Two more times. Think of length. And release. Last one here. So the oppositional pull is the breastbone trying to pull forwards while the arms connected to the back are trying to pull back. And then round the back. Awesome, you guys. Okay, from here, grab your right strap. Let's hold on to the short loop. Left hand's gonna stay on the shoulder block because I like to be a little more elevated here to feel it a little bit more in my back. So similar to pulling straps when you're lying down on your belly on the box, reach your right arm to the side. Make sure your shoulders are level, one's not higher than the other. Scoop your abs in, unlock your left elbow, roll the shoulders back. Again, double check, make sure that that tailbone is not sticking up. We're gonna sweep the arm back and hold. Really reach it back as you reach the crown of the head forwards, lower the arm down. So we're not doing like a back extension, we're just staying neutral, but pulling from the back. That's three, let's do two more. Last one here. and lower it down, hook it back up, other side. Left strap, short loop, roll the shoulders back and down, abs pull in, sweep the arm back, and then slowly back down. Good, be heavy in your left knee and heavy through your right hand so that you don't lean over to the right too much, kind of counter act. Keep rolling the shoulders back in their place, Think two more here. Last one. And lower the arm, the strap down, round your back, nice cat stretch here. Shake it out from side to side. And then sit down, cross legs, facing the straps. All right. So, Sitting right on top of your sit bones here. A little bit more difficult for me now with the growing belly, but finding them as much as you can. We're gonna place our hands behind the head. If this is not comfortable, you wanna place your fingertips to your temples instead. That's fine too. Okay, shoulders pull down, gentle pressure, head pushing into the hands, hands gently pressing into the head, nothing crazy, just a little bit of the feedback there. So looking straight ahead, we're going to bend from that mid back, scoop your belly in, and we're just gonna follow an imaginary line all the way up towards the ceiling and then stop right where the line meets the ceiling and hold. And then slowly follow that line back down. So again, with the breastbone leading. And again, grow tall, pull the belly in, Go ahead and follow that line up towards the ceiling, bending from the mid back and hold it there. Hang out here for a little bit. Can you grow taller? Can you get a little more feedback of head to hands, hands to head? And then follow that line back down. Let's do it one more time. Scoop the belly, grow tall, drop the shoulders and follow that line up. Keep growing tall. Hold it there. Don't hold your breath and follow that line back down. Lower the arms. 
Good job, you guys. Add on a red. So you have a blue and a red. Red is heavy here for this reformer. So we have a heavy spring and a medium spring. Take the straps off the shoulder blocks and cross them. Palms facing the floor. Roll your shoulders back and down. Scoop your abs, pull tail down. We bend the elbows, squeeze the shoulder blades together and down and then extend. So I do this move quite often in my videos, rowing and heavy weight. Think of bending the elbows. Think of leading the movement, not from the elbows, but from the back. So wait till you have that back connection, then pull the arms back. Squeeze those shoulder blades together and down and then move. We're here for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, you guys. Go ahead and uncross the straps and uh, hook them back up. Drop your red, keep your blue. Last move here. Step off your reformer and step into your well, facing the shoulder blocks. Still on that blue spring, going for a little bit more on lats here. Feet are hips distance apart. Go ahead and lower the butt so the butt is low. Pull the carriage towards you a little bit here so it starts away from the stop. Holding onto the shoulder blocks on the sides. Butt stays low, flatten the back out. Make sure you're not over tucking the tail though, but you're not over arching either. Abs pulling in, pull the carriage towards you and hold. It's a pretty small range of motion, but hold it here, we'll add on in a second. Extend the arms back. We are working the legs here at the same time. Good, you guys, three more. Again, oppositional pull, tail, the tailbone pulling that way, rest of the spine pulling up. Last one here. Good, now extend your arms and pause. Place your, the back of your left hand on your forehead. We pull from the right arm and then extend back and pull. Good, three more. Staying low, working those quads and glutes, two. Last one here. Switch the sides. Level the shoulders, make sure the left shoulder's not pulling forwards, pull back and hold and then return. Good, so we're pulling from the left side of the back here. Back of that left shoulder. Two more. Last one here. And then bring the carriage back on gently. Bonus stretch here, hands on the shoulder blocks. Find that little platform if you have one behind you. If not, you can just keep both feet on the floor. Carefully step up and shift your weight back into your legs. Ah, and just enjoying that release. Head can let go here. You can feel free to pedal out your legs a little bit. Carefully step on down if you were up on your platform and then slowly rebuild the spine. And you guys are done. Hope you enjoyed that back workout. Um, just gives different variations for some back work on the reformer. I'll see you next time. Bye.